Hello, hello and welcome to this week's video. Well, last week we had a look on how to remove the spots from your image. So basically the spots from uh, your sensor that is printed into your image. And we had a look on how to do this with Lightroom. We edited a few photos, then we went and changed a panel um, batch of images. Today we are going to look on how to remove this using Affinity Photo. Well, unfortunately, Affinity Photo is not that straightforward, or at least I haven't got an option where I have this beautiful bar here, as Lightroom has, um, and to be able to replicate it to multiple images. Unfortunately, with Affinity Photo, you need to take it one by one. So. I'll show you uh, the same thing using a few images here. So this is the first image that we're going to use. It's the same image from last week as well. We will be able to see the differences. So the first image, you can see here that we have some dusts, some dust bunnies, like I told them. I think somebody used also the dust bunny term into an old YouTube video. Uh, there you go. Don't know exactly where I heard that one. So click on the develop mode. And from here, to be able to see the, um, the spots better, you can go into layer, live filter layer, and then you have unsharp mask. So click on this and you'll see that it added an unsharp mask here. Let's maximize the radius and bring the factor all the way up. So you can see the points already started to be more visible into your image. So let's close this one. And if you click on this arrow here, it will bring up the unsharp mask layer if you right click on it, you can duplicate it. And then you'll see this one's even better. So you can lower the opacity for this just to, to see what works for you. So right from the start, we can see that we have a bunch of spots that appears here. I have a lot of them. Now, as I said, Lightroom does this pretty quickly and you can multiply afterwards to the entire image. Affinity doesn't have that option, so we need to do this manually. So you either click on this healing brush tool or hit J on your keyboard. And of course you need to select this uh, main layer option or alt just to copy from one side and you can go here what i want to use is the hardness i want to lower it down until i got a pretty picture something like this so now you can see that we are modifying the points and now you can click option for me uh, when I click when I hold option it gets this zoom you'll not have this one but you'll be able to see an arrow and just point from where you want your point to be uh, copied you can make the brush even bigger and let's see that's cool so you see the points are disappearing you can zoom out a little bit option click from where you want to copy the pixels, click on it, click on this. I can see it's pretty good. Now, you don't need to go and clean each individual. And oops, you can see I already started to modify something. So let's copy from the same area. And of course you can also use a clone brush tool. So you hit K on your keyboard 
and you're doing the same thing let's see we have two more points there option or alt and click from the area where you want to copy from of course you're not going to let your image looking like this what you can do is basically hide your unsharp masks layers zoom out and there you go you can see that the image looks very very well now yeah. last week we had a look on how to edit um, panel unfortunately here you need to apply the panel and afterwards you will be able to remove all the spots so let's try that as well if you go filter you have new panel okay let's choose a panel and the way i'm doing a panel basically you can see here that i'm starting i'm starting with my hand in front of the lens then i know that this is the first image um, and now you see that i have my hand again uh, against the lens and now that i know that the panel is over i open the image look at this one and stitch panel okay and now i hit okay let's see what that will do it's rendering the panel let's see and it looks amazing now let's hit apply and from here of course you can um, go ahead and crop your image I'll do like a very rough crop double click on it and let's do the same you have the same option here in live filters click on live filters then you have unsharp mask click once take the radius up factor up click this one and let's duplicate it where is the duplicate there and now we can have a look and see where our points are as you can see we have a ton so i'm not going to keep you longer and i'll show you how to edit this one you already have seen how to do it um, but this will take a while to be honest i would have liked to edit first the images and take off the points and afterwards generate the um, panel like we did in lightroom but affinity is not there yet um, i'm hoping that in the near future the affinity people will introduce the functionality to uh, be able to play around with multiple image at a time or at least remember where you had the points to speed up the process what you can do is basically create this unsharp mask action and then apply it every time but it's just two clicks so it's not even worth creating the action for it but leave a comment below if you want to see how to create actions in affinity photo and i think that's it i really hope you enjoyed this and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I post this kind of videos every week-ish. And uh, yeah, yeah and hopefully we will see each other next time. Take care.